In this practice problem, a box is sitting on an incline and there is friction, and the box is accelerating. In the previous problem, it was moving at a constant velocity, so this will be a good comparison. A box is sliding down an incline while accelerating at 4 meters per second. What is the coefficient of friction? To begin with, in solving any kind of problem like this, I need to figure out what forces are involved. Because the problem talks about a coefficient of friction, I know there's going to be friction, so I've got that force. Because the box is sitting on a surface, there's got to be a normal force due to the surface, so that's a second force. And finally, the box is going to feel the pull of gravity, so it's going to feel weight. So I'll write that down as mg. So there are my forces. Now I need to make my free body diagram. So I'm going to replace the block, the box, with a dot on the incline. And now I'm going to draw the forces. So gravity always points straight down. So that's going to be mg. The normal force is defined as being perpendicular to the surface. So there's my arrow. It's perpendicular to the incline, or the surface, and there's my normal force. And friction is defined as the opposite direction of motion. Since the box is sliding down the incline, friction is going to point parallel to the incline and up the incline. Very similar to the last problem we did. Next thing I need to do is figure out a coordinate system. So I'm always going to pick a coordinate system so it's parallel and perpendicular to the net acceleration. So in the last problem I said parallel and perpendicular to the incline, but really what I'm after is parallel and perpendicular to the net acceleration. This will make the math easier. Since it's accelerating down the incline, I'm going to pick parallel and perpendicular to the incline. That's very fortunate. So that means I've got to break up my components of mg so they're parallel and perpendicular to the incline. So mg is the hypotenuse, and I've got the two pieces of the triangle that add up to give me mg. The adjacent side is mg cosine 35, and the opposite side is mg sine 35. Now I'll ignore the blue mg and go with the pieces, the red, the red pieces of mg. Now because it's accelerating down the incline, I know when I add up all these forces, I get this answer accelerating down the incline, ma net. Next, sum up the forces in the y direction. Well, it's not accelerating in the y direction. It's not going off the incline. It's parallel to the incline. So in the y direction, there's no acceleration. No acceleration it means it's equal to zero. So that means that all the forces going up off the incline is going to minus all the forces going down the incline. It's going to equal zero. So in other words, all the forces, let's see, so some of the forces in the y direction equal zero. That's going to equal the normal force minus mg cosine 35. So that means the normal force is equal to mg cosine 35. Parallel to the incline, I'll sum up the forces in that x direction. And I've got this net force going down the incline. So instead of equaling 0, this time it's going to equal ma net because the acceleration exists. It's not 0. Now if I look at this, all the forces going right are down the incline, minus all the forces going left. In other words, all the forces that match the direction of the acceleration are positive. So ma net and mg sine 35 are the same direction, so mg sine 35 will be positive. So some of the forces equals ma net equals mg sine 35, which is positive because ma net's positive and they're in the same direction, minus friction. Friction's negative because it goes the opposite direction. If the acceleration went up the incline, friction would be positive, and mg sine 35 would have been negative. So ma net defines the positive direction. So now here's my equation. ma net is equal to mg sine 35 minus friction. Now I'm still looking for the coefficient of friction, so I'm going to start with this ma net equation. So I'll move that ma net equation over, and I know friction is equal to mu times eta, and there's my coefficient of friction that I need. So that means that ma net is equal to mg minus mu times eta. I'm replacing friction with mu eta. And now I'm going to replace eta with my equation, mg cosine 35. So now I have ma net is equal to mg sine 35 minus mu mg cosine 35. There's an m everywhere, so that divides out. Leave me with a is equal to g sine 35 minus mu g cosine 35. Throwing my numbers in there, I've got 4 meters per second squared equals 9.8 meters per second squared sine 35 minus mu 9.8 meters per second squared cosine 35. I'll suppress the units to make it look a little bit easier. So 4 minus 9.8 sine 35 is equal to negative mu 9.8 cosine 35. So I've rearranged my equation a little bit. Now when I isolate mu, I get mu to be 0 0.135. The lower coefficient the last time because it's accelerating while it's going down the incline.